Niao. Hello. That means hello, how are you in Chinese. We're here today to talk about and, and give you a little lesson, an introduction to Tai Chi. First of all, what is Tai Chi? Tai Chi is an ancient exercise form that's characterized by very slow and gentle movements. It's much different than our Western thought of exercise, which is go hard. Our class motto is actually no pain, no pain. Rhymes with that other thing that your high school coach probably told you. And that actually is a quote that came out of the Harvard Medical School Guide to Tai Chi. So Western science, the rigor of Western medicine is put onto Tai Chi now and is discovering not only through evidence-based research that it works, but why it works. In this book, going along with the no pain, no pain, it says here that we should, the maximum effort we should put into Tai Chi is 70%. Now, the notion with that is, if this were 100 and here is 70, eventually that's 70 will pass up where the 100 is and we don't get hurt. Anyone can do Tai Chi. We can do it completely in a chair we do it standing, and it applies to everyday life. We come to class, be it on Zoom or YouTube or in the classroom, and feel virtuous because we've been there. Well, you are virtuous because you came to class, but everyday life is the application. And there's a lot of research that has been shown to be very helpful for neurological conditions. For example, MS, Parkinson's, and many other neurological disorders. I'd like to quote Yan, Yan Chen Fu, Grandmaster of Yan style. He said that this art, this art form Tai Chi, is meant to accomplish two things. It's for health and longevity. And he elaborated that it's not just lifespan, but health span. So it's the quality of life, not just the length of life. So let's do a little Tai Chi here. And we're going to do things, let's do something in the chair. And it's like you just sit down in a comfortable chair. It's best to have one not on rollers. And we want to have our feet hip width apart. Sit up straight, just like your mama told you. And we're going to do a little breathing exercise. Now, here's something that applies to real life, because this comes up quite often, this breathing thing. Now, there are lots of different methods uh, in other mind-body disciplines, like yoga and so forth. And it, it's similar to yoga in many ways. Uh, but we use what's called natural breathing. Natural breathing because one breathes this way when you're asleep. It's really diaphragmatic, very deep down, lower rib cage, expanding and contracting. So let's do another little, just let's do this together. Sit up straight, your hands on your side, and breathe in as you come up. Hands and then breathe out. Now the standard practice is to breathe in and out through your nose, but if that is not comfortable for some anatomical reason or whatever, just breathe. Be comfortable with your breath. And the speed is meant to be, the standard is about five count breathing in to come up, Five pound count going down. If it's a little different than that, that's fine. And also, have the tongue gently resting on the roof of the mouth with the tip of the tongue touching the back of your upper front teeth. Makes a connection. So think about where 
shaking out a blanket at the beach, beach towel. We're shaking that out in slow motion. Now, if you're going so slowly that it feels kind of ridiculous, slow down some more, you'll be going the right speed. Here we go. Breathe in, breathe out. All right, got another image for you on this. Think about you're in a swimming pool up to your chin and you have that resistance. And furthermore, we're going to push down right the center of our palms. We have ping pong balls pushing them underwater. And that's a pressure point. What we do in Tai Chi is acupressure, no needles. Same place as the acupuncture. And also one more image on this, think about the wave in the stadium, football stadium, doing the wave. Good, excellent. And we're going to do a few more, um, a few more exercises in our chair. They're kind of warm ups, but it's Tai Chi. Uh, so, first of all, I'd like for you to give yourself a nice little gentle hug because you deserve it, and turn your head 45 degrees or less one way, 45 or less the other way. Now let's go a little bit more. A little bit more. One more each side, and remember, 70% of your comfort range. No pain, no pain. Good. Now let's take our hands and put in front of our chest our torso here, and we're holding this invisible energy ball. We turn one direction. Turn the other direction, 45 degrees, and 45 degrees. Now we're going to wave hands like clouds. A signature move in Tai Chi. Gather energy, extend energy. Well, because you can think about it. you're going to scoop up a baby. Stop, bus, I got a baby here. Scoop up the baby. Stop the bus. Scoop up the baby. Stop the bus. Okay, then I'd like to go right into that to what's called double ward off. Put our hands forward. Push down. Breathe in. Breathe. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Now, there's another one I would like to do on our breathing, which is called gathering your chi. It's a big movement. Gather up, big breath in, breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Now I'd like to do a little sequence for you. It's called the um, eight form. And it's called the eight combination form. Where our neurological uh, disorders, there are six different styles, and we combine some of the styles, but we use a lot of the yawn style because there's a lot of amplitude. It's big movements, which is very beneficial for neurological issues. So let's do this. We can do this together. We can just bring our feet together if you don't feel wildly doing that and salute. Hands down. Prepare, begin. Remember that first breathing exercise? Breathe in, 
breathe out. And then we wave hands like clouds. Do that six times, very slowly turning our waist. Four. Five. Six. And do our double ward off. Hands in front. This is called move. Move with waves. Same thing as the we did in that breathing exercise, except now we bend our D's. Three. For double ward off. Gather up our chi. Big breath. In. Great. Good. Okay. Now I'd like to get another quick little lesson of Tai Chi, how it applies to real life. Walking. There's something else that comes up a lot. Tai Chi walking. Um First thing we do with Tai Chi walking is to get our feet at hip width. A good way to find that is to stand like Charlie Chaplin, or if you're not old enough to know who that is, uh, stand like a little penguin, 45 and 45. Pivot on your toes. That gives you hip width apart. It's very simple, but it takes concentration and focus. Head up, spirit up. Chin is slightly in, and we step heel, toe, and the other hand comes out, just like we're going to shake hands. Then transfer that weight, heel, toe. We're friendly, so we shake hands with both hands. Slowly, heel, toe. Now, I know you're thinking it's going to take you 20 minutes now to get a unit to grow. And, but what we're doing is we go very slowly so that we have a muscle memory, mind memory of this, so that our posture, and remember our thumbs are up like we're shaking hands, because what happens is if, if we walk with our knuckles forward, our shoulders are rolled over. Thumbs up, better posture. Poor posture, better posture. So it's very simple. And this way, and also our head is not forward because that's about a nine pound bowling ball over a broomstick. And if you trip, you're going to go for a header. Hip width apart, head up. And we practice very slowly like that until we get the muscle memory. And then we walk, and it looks like a normal walk, but we're doing Tai Chi walking. And we're stable and no fall, because that's not what we want. Well, thank you for being with me today, and thank you, uh, Norton Healthcare, and would like to wish you best Tai Chi wishes. And Sai Jen, that means goodbye. And Jai Yo, Jai Yo, that means stay strong, be strong. Jai Yo. Mm -hmm.